Good afternoon and welcome to the second part of our virtual open week. My name is Giles Hegarty, I'm Assistant Director of Sport and Head of Rugby here at CHS. I'm Leanne Thomas and I'm Head of Netball and PE Teacher. We're going to talk to you about all things sport here at CHS uh, over the next few minutes and show you a couple of videos of what that looks like. Um, sport here at CHS is all about a seven year journey. Uh, from year seven right the way through to year 13, we want our pupils to remain active and healthy and, uh, and we have a very, very varied curriculum to allow them to do that. When they arrive in year seven, as part of the PE curriculum, they'll be partaking in physical literacy lessons. Here, they will develop their ability to run, jump, throw and catch, which can translate towards different sports. They will also um, take part in swimming lessons here on our on-site swimming pool. They will develop their water confidence and later on in their CHS journey, they will participate in life-saving and water polo. Now at CHS, we have an enormous sports department, 16 members of staff led by our Director of Sport, Matt Higgins, with both PE staff with a huge number of qualifications, uh, right the way through to some full-time coaching staff. We've got people who are national netball players, right the way through to ex-professional cricketers. The big thing for us here at CHS is that all our pupils are able to access all our sports and then be inspired to remain not only involved in them, but healthy and active throughout all their time whilst they're here and when they leave school as well. In order to achieve that, we've developed over the last 12 months a unique coaching model that our year sevens and eights are currently able to access. The coaching model is specific to each sport and we teach in themes. These themes will um, develop our students as a whole to make it more game-like, so when they reach the seniors, they will be playing and they would have experience in each of the themes throughout the school. Now to give you some idea of how varied the, the sports curriculum is here at CHS, last year alone we played 696 fixtures between September and the end of the school year. That's across rugby, football, cricket, netball, hockey, girls football and a number of other smaller sports as well. Uh, it's for pupils that have got zero experience right the way through to our elite performers. We've got pupils that are involved with national programs, we've got a number of pupils who are involved with Sail Sharks, and uh, as well as involved in ISFA and ESFA programs as well. Uh, we're also available, uh, we also have here some amazing facilities. We've got just under 10 acres of grassland, including rugby, football and cricket pitches. We also have four outdoor netball courts and one indoor netball court and a full-size AstroTurf with a hockey pitch. Three years ago, we opened our 3G pitch, which is floodlit, which allows us to be able to keep working all the way through the year and all pupils are able to get onto it. We're also currently stood in our state-of-the-art pavilion. And right now, we're in our fitness suite uh, where our full-time strength and conditioning staff work. Pupils are able to come in here they're able to learn with the staff, both PE staff and our S&C staff, and if selected, they get involved in our high performance program, which our head of elite performance, Andrew Groves, is now going to talk to you about. Hi, I'm Mr. Groves, and I'm the head of elite performance at Cheam Hume School. The HPP programme gives students who come in at year 7 all the way through to year 11 the opportunity to be part of a performance pathway in sport. What we do is afford them the opportunity to become student athletes in which we give them support networks in many different aspects of their screening lives from academic to sport to psychology and lifestyle. Uh, some of the key elements that we have in place that students get the opportunities for is the specialised stre uh, strength and conditioning. Uh, with that we offer uh, numerous links to universities in which they can receive workshops in stuff like psychology, nutrition, uh, biomechanics and sports science. And we also give them opportunities to see many different pathways in the sporting community, whether that is professional sport, but also making sure that we can accommodate different avenues such as coaching, university and academic and other opportunities that they may feel suitable. So the criteria to get on the HPP is uh, students who exceed their potential in their sporting discipline are above most others when they play their sport. Um, what we want to see is the person who's got a growth mindset to have the potential to kick on in many different areas of performance sport, but we also want to facilitate the main areas of academic and lifestyle choices. Hi, I'm Josh Short. I'm in year 11. I've been on the HPP programme since year 7. 
Uh, I've benefited from uh, lots of things on the HPP program, such as the really good strength and conditioning program, which helped me in all aspects of my sport and uh, helped me prevent injuries. Um, I've also benefited from specialist talk from specialists um, in the field of sports psychology, um, professional sports, and nutrition. For the future, the HPP programme has helped me because it's helped me realise how much I love sport, um, not just playing it, but all the aspects surrounding it. Um, I've had opportunities to coach um, and learn, and uh, this has helped me in the classroom and outside the classroom as well. Um, I might take sports in future years, but the HPP programme has been really beneficial either way. If you have any questions or any sort of ideas, please contact me at any point on my email address at Chief Hume School. Now, of course, we are operating in unique times at the moment, but that hasn't prevented us from still having a, a fantastically varied sports programme going on. We've actually had over 500 pupils in just this morning who've we've just finished on the fields across all our major sports. One of the things that we've re it's actually challenged us to do is become um, really innovative in how we operate. If you have any questions about anything that you've heard today, please contact er at chschool.co.uk. It just remains for me to remind you to log in from 10 o'clock on Monday morning for the next part of our virtual open week, where you'll hear from both our head boy and head girl, our head of sixth form, Mike Jones. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, enjoy the sport and stay active. Sometimes I'm on a rap